The Mediterranean is a relatively enclosed sea, with narrow straits joining the Atlantic Ocean and the Black Sea. Because it is shallow, its waters warm up to higher temperatures than ocean waters. These warm Mediterranean waters have led to a proliferation of species typically found in tropical waters. Out of around 17,000 species, it is estimated that a thousand originated from other parts of the world, brought by boats or other human activities. These species then developed thanks to the favorable climate, in competition with native species that were already struggling with the rise in temperature. The increase in the Mediterranean's temperature could lead to the disappearance of numerous animal and marine flora species due to lack of oxygen. Climate change also affects and destroys crops and food production, droughts, in particular, often cause fires leading to inevitable destruction of crops. From current climate models, a change in rainfall can already be observed in North Africa and the eastern Mediterranean, and if carbon dioxide emissions continue at current levels, the risk could also extend to southern Italy. Climate change is the single greatest threat we face as a species and in the Mediterranean, temperatures are going up 20% faster than the global average. This is already having real and serious consequences across the basin, and they'll increase over the coming decades, with sea level rises expected to exceed 1 meter by 2100, impacting one-third of the population in the region. Urgent and far-reaching action is needed, both to mitigate further greenhouse gas emissions and to adapt to the new reality of a warming sea. The Mediterranean is not a tropical ocean, not yet. But a process of tropicalization is well underway in the hottest part of the basin, the eastern Mediterranean, and this gives us a taste of what we're likely to see developing across the region as climate change pushes sea temperatures higher and higher. In addition to already being heavily overfished, native species which prefer cooler waters are shifting the southern edge of their ranges north. It's not yet known whether they are primarily driven by physiological stress caused by increasingly frequent extreme warming events a drop in oxygen levels that affect ecological functions, or competition from invasive species, but whatever the reason, species communities in some areas of the southern and eastern Mediterranean have changed. Meanwhile, in the eastern Mediterranean, which is warming at a rate far above the global average, invasive tropical species, most of which arrived through the Suez Canal, are extending their distribution in line with the rising temperatures. The Mediterranean holds one particularly unwelcome distinction, it's the most invaded sea in the world. In recent decades there's been an explosion in the numbers of alien species establishing themselves across the basin, with catastrophic consequences for native biodiversity interaction with the new arrivals is completely disrupting stable ecosystems. Jellyfish have been around since before the time of the dinosaurs. While theory undeniably strange creatures 96% water, with no brains, no bones and no blood they are common in all oceans, and are an important part of abalanced marine ecosystem. But when the ecosystem gets out of balance jellyfish can become a problem, and since around 2003 that's what's been happening in the warming Mediterranean. Jellyfish blooms, where populations breed and rapidly increase, used to be occasional events that took place every few years. 
but in southern waters today, they are happening annually and lasting longer. Posidonia oceanica, a seagrass endemic to the Mediterranean, is one of the most important species in the whole of the marine ecosystem. Forming vast meadows on sandy seabeds to a depth of about 40 m, Posidonia oxygenates the ocean and provides a vital habitat for some 20% of marine species found in the Mediterranean. Reservoirs of biodiversity, the meadows serve as nursery areas for the many important commercial species which need them to reproduce and grow. Posidonia also has an increasingly significant role to play as climate change takes hold. As storms and hurricanes become more frequent and severe, Posidonia fields reduce the energy of waves and currents, stabilizing the seabed and securing sediment. In autumn as the weather worsens its dead leaves float to calm sea swells and build up dense deposits on beaches which can remain for years and protect against coastal erosion. The Mediterranean region is already more affected by the changing climate than most other parts of the world. In recent years the Mediterranean Sea became the stage for hurricanes on a more regular basis, and those extreme weathers wiped out entire marinas in their path. But storms are not the only problem, in 2021 a record heatwave hit the entire Mediterranean basin, resulting in wildfires in Turkey, Greece Italy and later in Spain. Wildfires in the summertime are not a novelty for these countries, the severity this year was unheard of before. And at the same time Sicily became the new hottest place in Europe. With a temperature near 49 degrees recorded in Catania it became very obvious that we should prepare for more heat in the years to come. With bigger temperature fluctuation, there is also more and stronger storms, resulting in bigger waves, not just unfortunate for sailors, but also for coastal cities close to the water level. Although climate change is a gradual process with incremental effects, it can combine with other environmental stresses to precipitate sudden ecological crises. In the Mediterranean, it has been linked with the recent catastrophic mass mortality events that have decimated populations of fan mussels Pinna nobilis across large areas of their home range. Pinna nobilis is a flagship species, the largest endemic bivalve in the Mediterranean and one of the largest in the world. It plays an important ecological role, contributing to water clarity by filtering large amounts of detritus and provides a habitat where many different species aggregate. 146 of them were found in one study. Its byssus threads, the filaments that attach it to the seabed, have been valued since the days of the Romans, who used them to decorate precious fabrics. This sea silk was harvested for artisanal use and the species was also targeted by recreational and commercial fishers into the 1980s, when populations saw rapid declines before Pinna nobilis received protection under the Barcelona Convention. More than ever, people are aware that our climate and our ocean are in danger, and they are two sides of the same coin. As these cases clearly show, while climate change has serious impacts on the ocean, and a depleted ocean further exacerbates the effects of climate change, we also know that by protecting the ocean we contribute to the fight against climate change, and by fighting against climate change we contribute to protecting the ocean. However, the magnitude of the problem requires bold and ambitious policy action, using every tool and mechanism at our disposal. In a biodiversity hotspot like the Mediterranean Sea, severely impacted by climate change, the ocean climate nexus must be central to discussions about creating the solutions that will allow people and nature to thrive. Increased coordination across relevant policy agendas is needed to strengthen the mitigation, adaptation and resilience potential of marine and coastal ecosystems and everything and everyone that depends on them.